Hello guys, thank you so much for checking out today's video. Today's Canva video request is how to zoom in and out when using Canva slides or a presentation. So we're gonna get started. Okay, the first thing you need to do is of course open your presentation design. And in this case, this will be our presentation design for today's video. And we're going to go to the present button, which is right over here next to the share button. And depending on what method you'd like to present, then the way you can zoom in and out also depends on that. We're going to talk about them one by one. And we're going to talk about the first method first, which is present full screen mode. We're going to click on present. And here we are. So you'll notice that the um, toolbar right here appears only when you hover towards it. So hover towards it and then you'll be able to see these tools right over here. So this is the zoom in and out button. It's the second icon you'll see on your bottom toolbar. So to zoom in or out, click on it and you'll be able to see this slider over here. So in order to zoom in, you're just going to adjust the slider. And the more you adjust it to the right, the more it'll zoom in. And in order to zoom out, you can just drag the slider back to 100%. Or say, for example, especially when you're using whiteboard, this is a very useful tool. But in case... Um, uh, you lost your way, then you can just automatically resize or go back to the default size by clicking fit over here. And it'll return to normal size. So let's talk about the other options. We're going to go to present again, and we're going to go to presenter view. We're going to click on present. And you may notice that you have a different window. This one is called the audience window. So this is the window that your audience sees. I'm just going to minimize that. We're not going to need that for now. And presenter window, we have the presenter window where we're going to do all of the navigation behind the scenes. So we're going to click on got it. And in order to zoom in or out, as you may notice, you don't see anything unless you hover over here. So in order to zoom in, you can click on this zoom button again that looks like a magnifying glass with a plus sign on it. And then just like before, you can zoom in by dragging the slider to the right or zoom out by dragging the slider back to the left. Or to make things faster, if you want to go back to the normal size, then just click on fit. And there you go. Now we're going to talk about the other method. So I'm just going to exit our presentation here. I'm going to press the escape or the ESC button on my keyboard. And we'll be back to the editor. So let's talk about the next option. So let's go to present again. And that is present and record. Now, unfortunately, for this option, I don't think you have the, um, I don't think you have the tool or the option to be able to zoom in. So I'm going to try to show you what I mean. Okay, so unlike the editor window that we had earlier, if you hover your mouse over here, you won't be able to see the bottom toolbar. And unfortunately, in that case, you also would not be able to um, zoom in or out. So I guess that's the disadvantage um, when using this option. Okay, so we're going to talk about the next option. We're going to exit this page over here. So to do that, I'm just going to hit end recording over here. And I'm going to click on cancel and discard. We don't really need that. So I'm going to click OK. And click on back to editing. Okay, and here we are. We're back to editing. 
So we're going to go to present again, and this time the last option we have is autoplay. Now autoplay works by automatically playing your slides depending on the time or the duration you've set for each slide. So to set a duration for your slide, you just click on that specific slide and then go to this button over here with the clock icon. So click on it. And then here you'll be able to adjust how long you'd like your slide to be. In my case, maybe 10 would be okay. That would be enough to show you how to zoom in and out. So yeah, I'll keep the others short. So we're going to give it a try. We're going to go to present and go to autoplay and then click on present. So it's the same as the first one. You just hover over here at the bottom and you'll see your toolbar. Click on the zoom option or the zoom icon and zoom it in just like that. Apart from zoom, you also have other tools here. So you've got magic shortcuts. You've got the timer, blur, quiet, bubbles, confetti, drum low drum roll i mean curtain call and mic drop um okay i think we've already talked about everything so why not yeah let's talk about these things over here so for the blur we have b let's try it nice i actually pressed b on my keyboard again to undo it so next we've got quiet. Let's try it out. Nice. We've got bubbles. We've got confetti. We've got drum roll. Curtain call. And mic drop. Awesome. I think these are very... Okay, we didn't actually get the timer, so let's try it out. Okay, so yeah, I think the, those are awesome features that you can use along with the Zoom feature. And this one is interactive Q&A with Canva Live. In case you want to go live, you can start a new session. And then we're going to go back. Here we have Open Presenter View. So this is a shortcut in case you want to switch from this method to the uh, Presenter View. Then you can click on this. And you'll automatically be routed to the Presenter View. I want to go back. I want to see the other options they have. And oh, okay. Basically, the last icon is just to exit full screen mode. Yeah. And if ever you need help with your presentation, Canva actually has this new feature. So just go to design and they have this magic design tool. So in case you need ideas or in case you need Canva to help you start your presentation, then you can find this tool useful. So just click on it and then use five or more words to describe your presentation topic. So let's just give it a try. Hit enter and creating presentation. And there you go. So these are the uh, templates that Canva created for you. The designs are not that catchy or visually appealing, but they're a good start. You can design this however you want to, and I think it's um, a great way to kickstart things, especially when you find it difficult to get started. So once you find something nice, then you can click on create my presentation and it'll be added. Um, if you're if you have an existing template, then 
the new template that you had Canva create for you will be added after the last page of your current template. So as you can see, which is right over here, just um, something we'd like to share with you in case you find it, you'd find it useful. So yeah, I think that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do hope you found today's video of help somehow. And we look forward to seeing you again in the next video. You guys have a great day.